So I'm here with BTCC driver Jack Goff. So Jack, over the uh, little break that we had, you've uh, changed cars from the senior to a uh, CC. Yeah, it's uh, a bit of a surprise to most people. Um, you know, it was our plan to get it out at some point this year, um, and the team had done an absolutely fantastic job. You know, to build two brand new cars in actually the space of ten days, didn't it? So it's hats off to those guys who've done a brilliant job. It's solid the car. We've had no issues at all in our first run just then. So they've done a brilliant job. So you've done one half of the season in the, in the Asinia, now you're going to do the second half in the uh, CC. What, what sort of differences do you think the CC is going to make to the Asinia? Uh, hopefully a lot faster. Um, first impressions just then. I had my first ever go in the car, so the car felt pretty good. Uh, it's our first real high speed sort of action with the car, and it was a little bit damp out there. But uh, say the first sort of impressions of the car is, and the characteristics are very, very promising. So. We'll have a better idea coming into qualifying, hopefully after the next session if it stays dry, but hopefully all round will be faster. Now you say that was your first time out in the car, why didn't you uh, have a practice during the break? Um, we got the car shells back quite late and uh, the team only had 10 days to build the car, so literally the car was built uh, Wednesday I believe, and then we did a shakedown Thursday in a straight line to make sure it was all tight, and then we came here straight from there pretty much, so you know it's, it's, it's been sort of flat out for the guys back at the team, but they've done a great job. Now, last time out of Croft, you uh, scored some points. Yeah, Croft was okay. Uh, we didn't really have the pace. Uh, we struggled a weekend with the car, to be honest. But we made the most of it in the last race, and we almost got a podium. But uh, we got slightly pushed wide in the end, and that sort of ended the race there and then. But it was a good weekend in, in sort of general. We got some TV time, so that was good really for us. And finally, la finally, you've just been um, out to do your practice session. P2 just behind Alan Manu. Um, in very changeable conditions. Yeah, it was a bit of a messy session to be honest. Uh, it was dry in places, it was wet in places, there was yellow flags, there was red flags. Um, it's not really what I wanted for my first go in the car to be honest, but we got a couple of laps under our belt, so you know I can't moan too much. It's two more than I had earlier on, so we'll see what uh, the next session brings. And say it was pretty promising the first sort of session in the car, but you never know what everyone else is doing. You know, everyone's on old tyres, it's damp, don't know how hard people are pushing, so we'll see what FP2 brings. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Jack, and very good luck for that free practice doing qualifying. Thank you very much. Cheers.